Uh, just wanted to get some takeaways about the trip from you and share some of the things I thought. And then maybe if there's someone who's going to travel to Wyoming and think about doing the same thing as us, they kind of know what to expect ahead of time. Yay. Okay. Ready? Okay. I'm ready. Yellowstone National Park, America's first national park. Uh, Yellowstone is very beautiful and definitely worth spending an entire day and nothing less on. Just be prepared to be in the car the whole time. It was like 13 hours. Yeah, it was literally, because I mean, it's a huge park and yeah. it's got a ton of different places to see. It's got entirely different terrains, but you got to drive every one of them. Mm -hmm. uh, when we say 13 hours, that includes the time to drive because we were not staying close to it. I think it was a three hour drive. It's two hours. It was a two-hour drive? Okay. So it's two hours of driving, and then you just continue driving. And I think if I had not read an article on some travel site about like what to expect if you go to Yellowstone, if I hadn't read that before the trip, I think I would have been absurdly disappointed. You're going to be surrounded by other people. You're going to be in the car. Uh, it's pretty much just National Park Safari and that article really well laid it out like here's what to expect So pretty much anytime there's anything exciting, you know, it's gonna be an animal jam filled with tons of other people and their cars But yeah, Yellowstone is a good thing to see just have realistic expectations something that I got like so tired of was every flipping time we would stop the van and I'll get out to go look at a geyser somebody would make a dad fart joke like I was just so tired of it I was so tired of posing to take a picture with everybody and then oh man who farted like I'm uh, once you do it like 80 times it's not funny anymore Adam Sandler would disagree. I know, but the <laughs> 81st time, I was about to lose my mind with that stuff. Anything else? Uh, I would just say, figure out what you're interested in seeing, mm. and if you're going on a Yellowstone dedicated trip, dedicate multiple days to it, maybe find, like, you can RV camp in the park. Oh yeah, it. most definitely. Do something like that, because the driving's a lot. I mean, just, I mean, if you do the math on what we told you, 13 hours, 4 hours of was driving to the park and mm -hmm. back. So literally nine hours of just sitting in the car going to different places to see cool things. Old Faithful, extremely overrated in my opinion. She has a differing opinion and I'll let her rebut and then I'll rebut her and we'll just be rebutting each other. <laughs> I thought Old Faithful was great because I did not watch it from the little stands or seats, benches, whatever that you guys watched it from. I went around the back side of where the geysers are to where those little gravel trails are and I sat on one of those trails. I had maybe like three people near me um, and I got to watch it without a view impeded by uh, screaming three-year-olds. Yeah, it seems kind of novelty. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of really cool holes with hot water spewing out of them in that park yeah. and that is, in my opinion, by far the least impressive of them. It's just very impressive that, that it does it's like this time. That it's, it's old faithful, it's regular. Yeah. And that's pretty cool. And it's pretty cool that you can kind of plan the time you want to be there to see it. But it's not like it lasts for like 60 to 90 seconds and it's pretty cool and then it's over and it's just not that big a deal. Round two! Let's see if I can get a public domain like boxing bell in there. Okay. Uh, Snake River. The second day we decided to take a raft ride on Snake River. What did you think about that? It was very cool. It was cool. It was one of the highlights of the trip for me because we had a really knowledgeable tour guide who we could point out to any, any peak and he'd tell us what it was. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we didn't have service so we couldn't be able to tell if he was right or wrong. I'm assuming he wasn't lying to us. <laughs> a very nice guy and then, you know, talked about the things we were seeing, got to see some cool animals and all the mountain range there. And yeah. It was very cool. Very and wonderful. we did it through Grand Teton National Park. Um, and it was on the expensive side, so, you know, would you say that it's worth the price point? If that is not, if you don't get to see those mountains, if it's like your first time, then yeah, definitely. And it was not, um, a raft ride as in like white water rafting and like rapids or anything. It was like no one got splashed or anything like that. You're it's just completely big, flat scenic river. Yeah, it was really, really nice. Um, some of like the most incredible photography opportunities. Um, 
like you get the camera really low to the water and then you've got those mountains as well if you watch the video the episode for that day then you'd see like exactly what i'm talking about it's pretty cool so let's talk about how we didn't get to go backpacking which you it were was so, so disappointing <laughs> you were it was thrilled. i was just devastated it was if I could go back and do it again, I would well. still do the exact same thing that happened. Yeah. Instead, we still went on, went on two really nice hikes uh, to cool places, a giant yes. uh, cave, cave whose ceiling uh, was also was the same, like what the former ceiling material, like 100, maybe 50 feet above you or something like that, is what is the current crumbled floor material, which made me very nervous. Zero. And I just walked right there. I was like, oh, this is nice. Yeah, I see beauty and zero chance of survival in an incident. Yes. So and I heard one of the other groups there talking, so I can't verify this information for myself. But, but what heard. they said is that they've been there before, and either them or somebody else has gone on like a legit ex exploration of it with some guide or something like that. And it goes all the way up to the other side and just opens into a cliff on the other side of the mountain that like you can't really climb to. Why? Uh, it goes straight through the mountain. Which uh, is really cool. It's very cool. Now that you told me that you overheard that there was this really awesome thing on the other side, I think it's something that you have to have like a professional helping you get to. It's not okay, like a, not it's a... not like a five minute little trot through the mountains. It's like okay. a imagine Moria, not uh, ah okay. So you gotta be careful of that fire demon gonna drag down your team leader. <laughs> okay. So we stayed in Victor, Idaho, and you can walk out of your door in the Airbnb we're staying at and look. In, the, in three or four directions and see flat plains for a mile and a half and then all of a sudden these giant mountains uh, just rolling up out of nowhere. It cracked me up. Um, your dad said the land here is so flat you can watch your dog run away for three days. <laughs> that just made me laugh so hard. I was like, I have to save this one for later. <laughs> we did see a moose, a large majestic moose. He was beautiful. He, I'm assuming he. Right? Not on the same no, we saw the moose. Remember? No, we saw no. The moose that you're talking about is the one that we saw when we went to Green Lakes. Nope. Nope. I have the video. I was editing the video a couple you're minutes right. ago. You're right. Okay. We didn't see. Don't, moose. don't tell me what I saw with my own eyes. I saw the moose I on that day. Right. Okay. I'm not hitting it again. Okay. Okay. Um, anyway, on a different one, we saw a very large, beautiful moose. Which I guess you kind of gave us a transition to the next. Hike. So we wanted to backpack to Green Lakes, and um, that obviously did not work out. So we found a way to do a day hike there. I'm very happy we got to see Green Lakes and go on Green Mountain Trail, all of that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you can't change the past, whatever, but if I could do it differently, I would say let's just take the 85 mile trail camp out and then you know go out the next day that probably would have been way better for you and then because it's better for you and you're happy then I'm happy but I didn't know that until I had to be like pouring over the map you know coming up with a backup plan so I gotta say Victor Idaho and Jackson Hole uh, what are you doing really guys <laughs> like we're not bad people we're just up there we were a little seat. bit disappointed by the lack of friendliness we met without fail, literally without fail. We met some very nice people on the trail. We asked them, Nashville, Tennessee, Florida, okay. South Carolina, met somebody from Charleston, met somebody from Texas, met somebody from North Carolina, somebody from uh, Virginia, all these places. And they were very nice and very friendly. And if you meet somebody from that area, they're not happy to meet you. Uh, and maybe, maybe it is because we're not from the area, uh, but I gotta say, I was disappointed. The yeah. landscape was very inviting. The people were not. not. My feelings were kind of hurt. <laughs> I watched all my lifers, so. That was good. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Man! Get your life together! <laughs> Anything else? Nothing else? You're good. I'm good. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have not seen all of the episodes of our Wyoming trip vlog, they're in the description. I'm sure I'll also put whatever that thing is called, the, not a tag, I don't know. Uh, the thing that pops up in the top of the video that says, hey, watch this. And there'll probably be some of that at the end of the video also.
drum solo to play us out.